What's up everybody, safety is number one priority. For this experiment we're gonna need a quarter and a dime. If you're not living in America you're gonna need small coin and a bigger coin. And it should be a big difference, you know? So then we're gonna need a piece of paper and a pencil and scissors. Let's see what we're gonna do. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna fold this piece of paper in half. Then fold it one more time this way. Then unfold it. And you see we got the cross over here. Alright, then we're gonna put a coin in the middle. That to see visually that you see you kind of in the middle like that. And just make a circle. So as you can see we made a circle, then we're gonna fold it again, pretty much cut it right here on the line. So what we so what we made is the hole as big as this coin. You see what I mean? Maybe a little bit bigger, right? But this coin, the big one, will not fit to the hole, right? Let's see. Let's try it. You see? So the challenge is to fit the coin too. There's no way we can do it, right? Look. It just don't fit, alright? So the challenge is to fit it to the hole. You see, it don't fit at all. Just hole is way too small. So this is how you do it. You bend these two corners like that. And guess what? Coin fit too. So let's see that again. I'm gonna put a coin right here. You see coin just hanging there. You see, same thing. And then I'm gonna, boom, falls off just by moving it like that tell me below how does it work scientifically and you see it's supposedly a lot smaller hole you know than this one you see way smaller hole pretty cool take not a lot of people will get that uh, let me know what do you think and check out my previous experiments